بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم yeah, I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, born in from uh, the blah. <laughs> See, it always goes smooth when you're not taping. My name is Mohammed Robert Heft. I was born in Winnipeg, Canada to second generation Canadians, originally German and Irish. I'm from a small town growing up in Milton, Ontario. I call it a redneck town or a farmer's town, depending on how you look at it. I was born into a Lutheran family. We weren't that practicing. Sunday school was something we did until about six years old. Um, I don't consider ourselves overly religious. Uh, probably we went to funerals when somebody died. We went to churches when somebody got married. And other than that, celebrating Christmas, which wasn't a really a religious holiday for any of us. I'm sure to many people, I was the guy that they wished they weren't and, and they were glad they were not. I mean, it was, uh, I, I wasn't leading a very healthy lifestyle and um, I wasn't going very, you know, very many places with, with my thinking or my strategies. Some people will say, oh, well, you know, you weren't that bad, but, you know, I wasn't that good. <laughs> I accepted Islam July 12th, 1998, and, um, you know, I went through quite a bit. I, was, I went through gambling, drinking, drugs, womanizing, uh, trying to acquire as much material wealth as possible. So I hit rock bottom and I started searching. And um, I fell upon Islam when I went into a convenience store, never hearing about it. And after debating with a convenience store owner for about three days, by the grace and mercy of Allah, I accepted Islam. It was very important for me to have Jesus. I, I'd, I'd love the stories in the Bible. And then when they told me he's a prophet of God, he's better than us, he's a, he's a perfect human being, but uh, and, uh, uh, that really set proper in, in my heart and then the, the Quran being an owner's manual a way to live it was amazing because I was looking for structure one of the concerns was that I wouldn't be able to convince my family that I had made a good decision but I mean over the years it obviously it wasn't a phase and and they see that from my actions I was willing to take everything that came with that decision the main thing for me without a doubt was the oneness of God I mean I, I was into mathematics I was playing the, the the card game euchre in grade three I was in special classes for math and the way it works out mathematical for us as Muslims through theology I mean believing in God and his attributes and and that God is exists and exists eternally or pre-eternally without a place and without a size without a shape I mean it was amazing that the fact that we are the only religion that believes that God is not inside of something we don't have to put God somewhere to believe in him we believe in God out of necessity I mean we've come to a confident conclusion that God's existence is out of necessity and mathematically speaking that we can say God has to exist because he cannot not be he's he's absolute in his existence because everything in the universe is contingent doesn't have to exist and needs a creator and the creator has to have certain attributes I mean I thought that was just amazing how it just works in and there's nobody who can come in with a philosophy and try to refute it nobody can say the Big Bang anything they say it always comes down to one of those things that it's necessary for there to be an uncreated creator for the entire universe If you think you have a better formula than Islam, there's no use wasting your time accepting Islam in the first place. You might have a girlfriend, you might have a boyfriend, you might think that you want to stop drinking or do drugs before you make this decision. I'm telling you, accept Islam and then improve yourself. Because what the devil is going to do is he's going to tell you, he's going to tell you right now that yes, 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 you're going to accept Islam, but in time when you improve yourself. Islam is the way to improve yourself. So accept Islam now and then look to improve yourself from drinking drinking, doing drugs. If you have a girlfriend and a boyfriend, that's fine. Even though Islam doesn't permit girlfriends or boyfriends, you can pray to God that the individual becomes Muslim or God finds you a better way or a better person in your life. Either way, you don't lose. But don't let that hold you back because these are temporary things. You're doing things, you're thinking to yourself that you want to correct yourself. Correct yourself in your understanding and acceptance of God. Not whether or not you drink or not whether or not you party or not whether or not you have a wife or a girlfriend. The most important thing is to accept the concept and the understanding that there's only one God and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final messenger.